saying happy Vlogmas Day 20. Kaylin, show your shirt, show your shirt. Oh yeah, represent. Woo! I finally got all my friends from home don't text with shirts, so we all be repping. I am literally so happy to be back with my girl. Okay. We are reunited. We're both home for like most of break. And we are headed to the one and only Buddy Brew. Of course. Haven't been yet. So excited for breakfast, so a little it's coffee. Perfect. And then we shall separate our ways and go hang with our fams as it is the holidays. Oh my God, guys, it feels so good out right now. Oh, we totally could have made a Soul Cycle class. There's a Soul Cycle at 12, and Caitlin and I were like, oh, we won't be able to make it. Well, we're gonna go eat breakfast instead. Buddy Brew. Cheers. Oh my god, this looks so good. Usually I get that. I tried the Cuban sandwich instead, so updates to come. I am so happy, guys. This is Lulu. I missed her so much. Yo, cute boo boo. What type of dog is she? People are going to ask. A sheepoo. She's a sheepoo. I knew that. She's a shih tzu and a poodle. And then can't forget Odie and Bailey. Hi, boo boos. I know we don't talk often, but hey. <laughs> Lulu and I are pals. We're pals too. You're kissing me. Thank you. Oh. Hey guys, so I am back home and I just took a lovely shower. I'm not wearing any makeup. I just like when I have like a spray tan, I feel like my face looks fine like on its own. I don't really know. I know I'm like a little orange, but like we're okay with it. So I'm about to head over to my dad's house because my aunt is in town and I'm gonna hang out with her as much as I can. So it's a little bit late, but <laughs> my dad, my aunt, and I are gonna go get a Christmas tree for his house. Basically, my parents are divorced, but, like, they're literally such good friends. Like, we, like, all put the tree up together here. So, sometimes he doesn't put up a tree because we, like, all do Christmas together here. But we thought it would be fun to, like, go get, like, a little tree for his house and decorate it and have, like, a little festive afternoon. So, and it's kind of warmed up. The weather's so nice today. It's, like, 60s, 70s. Thriving. Loving it. We're going to go do that. I thought I'd give you guys a little lowdown. I'm wearing this set finally. I can finally wear it because the weather's good here from Princess Polly. I love it. It's just, like, this fun little set. And I'm wearing my Adidas still. I had such a fun morning with Caitlin. We just like, literally felt like the old days. If you guys watch my vlogs in high school, that's literally what we'd do. We would like wake up in the morning, go for a drive, listen to music, go to Buddy Brew, like the whole nine yards. And it was just like so good. I'm so like happy to be back with like my high school besties. Seriously, it's like the best feeling. Anyways, let's go. Panera bread time. Little lunch break. Say hey. hey. Dad, do you have something to say? Hi, girls. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This is magical. We literally drove around for 30 minutes because the Christmas tree place that we thought we saw must have ran out of trees and now they're gone. So we found one outside of Home Depot. Let's find a tree. All right, fam. Let's do it. That's cute. They like decorated it and everything. Yeah, we'll just take that one. Oh, it smells so good in here. Yay! Now, whoops, you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Pick up, pick up that thing in the middle. Yeah. Come on, girls. Girls. Oh, oh my God, we played again. My dad found home videos. Look at me and Freddie. It's a video we made for Aunt Debbie. Oh my God. This is me trying to be an actress, auditioning for a commercial. Putting the kids to work while I um, sip my coffee here. We'll hang up the snowflake. Ah, uh, look how cute. Making us open some gifts early. Oh. Is this jacket? <laughs> oh, a blanket. Oh, that's so soft. Very yeah, by the way, this was on Oprah's list. It was on Oprah's list? I got the leopard one for myself. Ooh. I was gonna get you one. Guys, she got me Barefoot Dream socks. I'm so excited. These are so soft. That's the blanket I have at my apartment, the leopard one. Thank you so much. That was so oh, thoughtful. Oh, you have a leopard one? In yeah. Here? Dinner time. We're getting Italian because that's how we do it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But you gotta leave the hands open. Cheers. Oh baby, I got penne vodka, oh my god. So I just got back from dinner a while ago and my brother and a ton of his friends were just chilling out back so I like went to go hang out with them 
and I just got back and I'm like, I know I literally always say this, but I really genuinely feel as if this vlog today is very short. Um, I've just been like being with family and friends and stuff and I just, I don't know, I'm about to edit this vlog and I'm just like, I feel like there's more to talk about or like more to show. So I went on Twitter and I usually do this on Instagram, but I did it on Twitter today. So you guys should follow me on Twitter at Danielle Carolyn. And I said, ending my vlog is today with a little Q&A to me some fun questions. So, you guys really came in hot, so definitely follow me on Twitter, because it's just like, I don't know, sometimes I don't want to, like, post on Instagram, like, filming a Q&A, because I'm just, like, doing a little one at the end of this vlog, just to, like, check in. I literally love doing Q&As so much. Also, I'm sorry, I'm touching my hair a lot, I'm just noticing that it's a mess. Favorite songs to pump you up slash motivate you, Fiona asks. Um, there's a couple that I just, like, are go-tos, like, Goodbyes by Post Malone for some reason, um... Oh, Jump Out the Window by Big Sean. It literally gets me every time. It's the most random song. I like, heard it once, but I love it. And it's just like, oh, like, I don't know. Anything Skizzy Mars, Drake, just like all that kind of vibe. I really like hip hop rap. Um, one trip you're hoping to take in 2020. Love. You guys are killing the questions. These are not basic questions. Somewhere to like nature and just like a log cabin in the middle of nowhere would be cool, but I'll basically come on if that happens. <laughs> Did you ever consider going into the medical field? This is an interesting question. A lot of people actually ask me this. Well, not anymore as much because people definitely know who I am and like what I'm into. But when I was younger, a lot of people asked me if I wanted to go into the medical field because if you guys didn't know, my dad's a radiologist. Um, basically, he reads x rays and so I feel like it's very common if you're in a family where the one of the parents is a doctor or like you know, a PA or something, like, you want to go to the medical field, it wasn't in the cards for me, I'm really not into science, like, I admire my dad and, like, mind focus, that's a good question, um, I admire my dad and everything he does, but I really just had no desire, and I've just always been very creative and just into all that, and he even said to me at a very young age, like, I don't expect you or Freddie to, like, want it, like, I'm not, like, making you or anything, and my dad's always been really cool about us following our heart, if you will. Favorite brand deal trip? You guys are literally killing the questions. This is so interesting. Um, favorite brand deal trip? I really enjoyed my trip to so uh, Germany with Sephora. That was, like, the most organized, just, like, perfect trip I feel like I've ever been on. Like, everyone on the team, like, I love going on brand trips where, like, the people that work for the company, like, I get to, like, bond with and hang out with, you know, pick their brand and hear about where they went to college and stuff like that. Um, so this four trip was definitely really fun and I'm excited to be on Troop 2020. Um, I'm trying to think of others in the past. Obviously, going to Mexico with Revolve was really, really fun. And I went to Miami with Puma last year around this time with a ton of, like, with Morgan and I think, yeah, Adrian. I want to say Shelby was there. Am I crazy? I think she was, it was just like a really really good time and that was a really fun trip and I was so honored to like be on a trip that was like mainly like fitness people it was just like really cool um but I've I really love all the brand trips I've been on I love I love going on brand trips where what are you looking forward to in the new year I normally around this time I'm like I'm so ready for the new year like new year new me I I know this might sound weird but I'm really really happy where I am in my life I'm really happy about like my fitness journey and like being a spin instructor and I'm happy with YouTube I'm happy with school I'm really honestly happy with a lot i'm really happy with myself i'm very confident um i guess the own i think i'm just excited to continue this like i'm excited for 2020 to just be a continuation of this year and um make new friends and keep my current relationships and friends and just continue to enjoy the year i think next summer is going to be really really fun i'm excited i have no plans i just i'm just at a really good point in my life and i'm really really thankful and i just i really just can't wait to see um, where it all goes. What's your favorite memory from the past semester? Um, definitely on my 21st birthday, my boyfriend took me out to dinner. His birthday is two days after mine in September and he took me out to dinner and I was kind of bummed because I like wanted to go out with my friends for my birthday and no one was really like w making plans. You guys know me, I'm a big planner and I was like, guys, can we do something for my birthday? And I was like, yeah, totally. Little did I know, while he was taking me to dinner, all my friends were setting up and getting ready for this whole big surprise party. There's a whole vlog about it. It was in September, so you guys can check out my um, vlog from that. But um, it was a surprise party for both me and Ryan. I mean, he knew about it, so it was like a birthday party for the two of us. And it was just so much fun to celebrate with all my friends, all his friends, all of our friends, our friends. It was just like the best night. And like, we literally stayed in, like, we stayed at the, the pregame, if you will. 
for so long just because we were like genuinely having so much fun and we were all like dancing and you guys know I love to dance and like not everyone always wants to dance and stuff like that and but everyone was dancing that whole night and it was just like genuine fun and I just like my whole mates came like literally just like Brooke came like she surprised me and came from Boston and like it was just like a really good night like filled with like a ton of my favorite people um so that was definitely a big memory of that for sure ever consider moving to another state maybe after you graduate definitely I it's funny today I had this like oh my god I love Tampa like I really love Tampa and every time I come back for like breaks and stuff Tampa is just developing more and more and I could see myself living here for sure one day and like I could raise a family here for sure but um, I've lived here my whole life and I know it'll always be a home for me and my parents still live here I feel like they're gonna still live here I mean I don't really know um so I feel like that Florida will always be home for me but I really feel like I would, I mean, I love New York City so much. I literally, you guys know I, like, glow when I'm there. I, like, that's what you guys, I don't glow. I feel like I just, like, am so happy when I'm there. And I'm just so, there's just so much to do. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll move there and I'll hate living there. But I love traveling there, that's for sure. Um, or I, like, honestly love Atlanta. I think I'll definitely want to live in a, in or out right outside of a big city. Um, just because I just like fast-pacedness. So I'll definitely live in another state. For sure. Like, I don't want to just live in Florida my whole life. What are you binge watching at the moment? Honestly, nothing. I am finally, a couple days ago, you guys, so I came home. So, so I went to Germany during finals. Came home, came to Athens for a day, drove home, was home for a day, flew to New York, and I got back from New York two days ago. So I feel like I'm finally on winter break, if that makes sense. So I can finally, like, watch Netflix and, like, catch up on Vlogmas and listen. I haven't listened to many podcasts. Like, I really... Because, like, when I was on the plane going to Germany, yeah, I had nine hours, but I was, like, studying or sleeping. It was one of the two. So, um, but I'm not, like, a big, um, I watched Mary Happy Whatever, and, like, I was, like, obsessed with that, but there was only, like, what, eight episodes of that. Um, but I'm about to totally watch You Season 2 when that comes out. I'm very excited for that. Um, but yeah, there's actually nothing I'm really watching right now. Usually, like, when I'm in my room these days, like, if I'm packing or whatever, I'm listening to music. I'm also really working and practicing to be a spin instructor. Oh, I am a spin instructor, whatever, but, like, I start in January, and so I'm, like, trying to build up my list of songs and, like, kind of just have a stuff, ton of stuff on hand. So when I'm building playlists each week for my classes, I have a ton of songs on hand. So but when I'm listening to these songs, I can't just, like, jam to them. I need to, like, sit there and be like, in four, three, two, change. Like, I have to, like, think about, okay, like, what would I do here? And, like, does this beat work with spin and, like, the type of spin that we do? And so that's definitely been taking up a lot of my time. Are you more nervous or more excited to start instructing? It's a great question. I don't know which one I'm more of. I'm definitely both excited and nervous. Um, I guess I would say I'm more excited, but I'm definitely very nervous just because... I mean, when I go into spin class, I look up to my instructor and I am like bowing down at their feet. I do whatever they say and I, I think they're like the coolest things since sliced bread and like the fact that I'm going to be in that position and people are going to be looking toward to me to work on their fitness journey and they're going to be asking me questions. They're going to be looking to me for inspiration. Obviously, I kind of like already do that with YouTube and like I'm aware, but it's just like a whole new world for me and... I'm just nervous like I'm scared I'm gonna mess up and I'm just like I have to remind myself like I did theater and there was times I messed up lines there was actually <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever told the story but my senior year of high school I played the lead in my school play you can't take it with you I, pay I played Penny Sycamore if you guys know um basically I'm literally on stage the whole time there's one one scene basically where I'm off stage and one night I was being dumb and I wasn't keeping track of what scene it was on and I like walked off stage because I had like a 10 minute break and I was so excited and I was off stage and they turn your mic on when you're about to be on stage again and I just like didn't realize I was supposed to be on stage and so my friend backstage had just done her day or her makeup and I was like damn shawty like you look good my mic was on my headmaster was in the audience of the high school and everyone heard me and I was supposed to be on stage so then my director's like freaking out like Danielle shouldn't be saying that, like, she's obviously not where she's supposed to be, so then, then someone on tech came, came and found me, and he's like, you need to be on stage. Long story short, not only was I supposed to be on stage, but I really, really needed to be on stage because, um, there's this scene, and you can't take it with you, where, um, like, this love interest, like, the guy and the girl, they're, like, in a room together, and they start to kiss, but I'm supposed to, like, ruin the kiss, and they're not supposed to kiss, that would, like, really ruin a lot of the storyline, so I'm supposed to run it. Like, it's a lot of pressure. Like, they're literally waiting for me to interrupt them. They start to lean in. I am nowhere to be found. So they had to basically improvise it. And um, 
I don't really know. I didn't really see, but everyone said they kind of just like started to kiss and then like decided not to and got really awkward. But I feel so bad. I literally apologized to them for like three days after that because yeah. So where am I going with this? That was a really random story. But anyways, um, I don't know. It is kind of nervous, but I like did theater my whole life. And like, I just have to remember like if I mess up, I mess up and like hopefully people won't even realize just I'm just scared about like counting into beats and like or if I like can't clip into my shoes if I get off the bike fill it on I can't clip into my shoes again I don't really know I'll be like talking a lot more about this and like as I go through the journey I'll obviously be vlogging it on telling you guys how I feel and everything but yes I am nervous and I'm very excited but I'm more nervous because I've told so many people and everyone knows and so everyone's like coming to my class and I'm just like ah. so yeah I feel like that's enough and that'll make this vlog a little bit longer I love you guys so much thanks so much for watching today's vlog it was like a good chill vlog I love you guys so much thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next video peace out happy vlogmas day 20 I can't believe I just stabbed